Okay, so I know I've had a bit of hiatus from YouTube. I've not be, really been posting anything at all, anywhere, basically. I just had to realign with everything I was doing. I've done that, and I'm back here, I'm back training. Basically, just want to say exactly what I've been doing regarding training. Been meaning to make this video for a long time, but every time I pick up my camera, the battery's either almost dead or is dead. It's just, it's so annoying. I need to get new batteries for it, but if you fail at step one, which is picking up the camera, then you're going to get nowhere, you know. So, I thought, why not make a PowerPoint presentation on what I've been doing. Anyway, I've been balking, right? I've been balking since November, uh, the end of November and the start of December, right? Basically just being intuitively eaten. Uh, and I did that up until January. So I started eating more, just decided in one day I was like right okay I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some more food okay and I started eating more food basically just sausages chips and fish cakes were the the majority of where I was getting my extra food from I couldn't tell you what else I was eating just like normal stuff don't know what normal stuff quantifies as but I was just eating normal food plus sausage chips and fish cakes because they were cheap and they did the job right and they yeah they served a purpose I'm not consuming them anymore because you just get sick of them after a while but yeah Served the purpose until I got myself into a bit of a better eating routine. I uh, moved home in the end at the end of December, before Christmas, and I started just eating as much food as I could. Nice being at home because you don't really have to worry about buying food. Obviously, I was still buying my own food, but I didn't have to worry about what was going to eat here, what was going to eat there, what was going to do this, do that. Just made everything a lot easier for myself. So, yeah, I just started eating as much as possible. I couldn't tell you how much I was eating until the very start of January. Uh, and from January to mid-February, I was consuming roughly 3.2 to 3.5 thousand calories per day. That was up until basically last week. I wasn't really gaining much weight. Sure, I was still gaining, but I wasn't gaining at a rate of gain that I would have liked to. I, my weight was kind of plateauing. I had done so for about a week, week and a half. And then I bumped the calories up 250 to 3.75k calories per day. So 37.50 calories per day, which you are at roughly now. I'm trying to consume that every day. Uh, my weight gain has been good, right? So I'm up 9 kilograms from this time in September, which to me is ridiculous. That is, like, I, I still can't really get my head around that I've gained 9 kilograms over that period of time. Sure, some of it is fat. And sure, some of it is muscle, and sure, some of it is water. But my strength is up as well, so that tells me that my I do have gained a bit of muscle, and I'm feeling strong. Probably the strongest I've ever felt. Actually, I can push weight that I never really thought possible. Well, I thought possible, but I didn't really see myself pushing soon. But it has happened. In three months, I've become basically the strongest I've ever been. Which is which is good, which is good, and I continue to, and I want to continue to get stronger. So some goals that I have, I don't really want to say any any specific goals because I don't really have many specific goals, right? I don't want to reach a certain body weight. Sure, I have like goal body weight in mind, maybe, but if I reach that, cool. I kind of want to push past it, you know. I want to see as much as I can get from uh, this calorie surplus. As I say. I might want to keep bulking until I feel necessary to cut. I'm not really sure. I might do a wee two-week mini cut in around summer so I'm a little bit leaner for the beach or whatever. Or for a holiday, but yeah, that's how I see this going. I don't really see myself stopping unless... In fact, no, I, don't, I just don't really see myself stopping. Until something maybe comes up, maybe I'm like, right, okay, I need to cut here. May have gained too much body fat or something. I do have some goal lifts in mind. Sure, I might want like a certain amount of bench, squat, and deadlift. But if I reach them, that just tells me that I've, I've I'm doing what I'm I'm going to continue what I'm doing. If I reach them, I'm like right, okay, what I've done has been good. I'm going to continue doing more of that, and then set myself some more things to reach and then progress from. Sure, they are they are that is the basically the definition of a goal, but. I don't have a goal that I'm going to reach it. I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to totally change up my training. 
I'm just going to continue to uh, progress, hopefully. So what I'm doing now, right, what I'm currently doing is I'm trying to, or I'm actively cleaning up my diet because I realise, and just from anecdotal evidence, but also just, like, in general, you are what you eat, right? Most of what I've been eating has been dirty calories. I've just been consuming chicken tenders, uh, a load of dairy, chocolate milk. Uh, I've not really been having as much chocolate milk recently because it's just... It's hard to get down sometimes after you've had it every day for months. And the same with the chicken tenders. It's hard to get them down now because I've been having them so often. Uh, day on day for months. So I'm focusing on eating healthier foods, right? Just finding alternatives that are like whole foods and are just, you know, generally good for you. Better for your body and mind, obviously. I don't want to have any brain fog. I've kind of been getting a few symptoms of brain fog recently and I kind of just want to clear that up. And I've also been feeling a bit more sluggish, but as I say, that's t to do with my diet. Once I clear up the diet, I reckon I should be absolutely fine. Also better source of nutrients and all that kind of stuff so you don't just feel like crap and... Yeah, you can also recover better. If you recover better, you're going to perform better. And then it just everything just bleeds into itself. Bleeds into other areas of life, you know. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Regarding food, regarding bulking, regarding what I'm working towards and what I'm doing currently. If that has been informative, let me know, please. Yeah, that's basically all I have for you. As I say, I want to get this video out for a while, but I've just not been able to because my camera keeps dying and that is annoying as hell. I'm going to buy some new batteries, hopefully I can get some more aesthetic content out. But in the meantime, thank you for actually taking the time to watch this, actually giving a shit about what I'm currently doing. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'll catch you guys in the next one.